Hello, my name is Eric Wortham. We're here in Philadelphia at my home where I practice on my beautiful Yamaha piano, and you are about to go behind the scenes of my Yamaha All Access photo shoot. Here in Philadelphia, my dad was a pastor of a church, I grew up a church boy. Like most young men, the first instrument you gravitate towards is the drums. Somebody's beating. You don't really have to press buttons and melody. You just beat, play tempo. I was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just one church convention I went to when I was really young. So I was standing in the choir loft and I was standing right up front and I watched the organ player, his name was Vincent Snead. He just seemed like he was just mashing buttons in different configurations. That just fascinated me, like, wow, this is dope. I want to try this. And also, I noticed that whatever he played controlled how they felt. I was like, that's interesting. He has keys to their emotions. He can make them happy, he can make them sad, he can make them want to worship, he can make them want to leave. <laughs> I thought that was very powerful. So I picked up the keys and stuck with it. Uh, my early influences, they came from church. Um, this gentleman came to play the drums. He was very, very, very talented. He noticed a lot of potential in my piano playing. He said, dude, you really should check out this cat, Chick career. I was 13 at the time. The next time we came to church, he brought me a VHS tape of Chick Corea Acoustic Band Alive, and the rest was history. Um, I remember last summer I was on tour with one of my favorite artists, Jill Scott. I was sitting back on the back of the tour bus, and I was telling the bass player at the time for Jill, man, if I could play for Adele, that would be all time. Tour ended. I got to get a phone call from the least likely person. So I naturally ignored the phone call. Then a friend of mine called and was like, hey, did you get a phone call from him? This, this particular person, I said, yeah, he said, you should check your voicemail for their message. Sure enough, they are like, you need to call me ASAP. It's in reference to Adele. I was like, get out of here, are you kidding me? They set up an audition via Skype, and I didn't expect her to be on the other end of the Skype call, so when her face popped into the screen, I had nearly had a heart attack. I definitely asked them to give me a second to regain my composure. And then the next day, I didn't hear anything back, so I called my now manager, and she gave me some really cool words of advice. Go out, have a good night, and let whatever happens, happens. And then the next day I got the email saying I got it. I love the action of the piano. The fill of these keys are made for pianists to go either slow or fast. So you have between the fill of the keys and the action and the sound, you can cover so many more different types of emotions. It can get dark, it can be bright, precision and quality. Very meticulous from the low end to the high end. Those Never heard anything like that in my life, so I, I love that about the piano in terms of its sound quality. I totally think that playing the piano has impacted my life. In order to become, in my opinion, great at uh, making art and make, and of any sort, you have to really know yourself and really get to that raw, honest part of who you are. It's definitely helped me out in terms of just to be more compassionate and try to be more understanding. Thank you for watching uh, the behind the scenes of my all-access Yamaha photo shoot. Take care. God bless.